it's been a member since 2005, June 16th. So I'll turn it over to Jennifer. So here's a little bit about me. I'll try not to be too lengthy. Um, I always joke that my Rotary journey joined when I was born, as I grew up the daughter of a Rotarian. My father was part of the movement back in Seattle to get women into Rotary in the 1980s. So I guess I really do owe him for my involvement and love of the organization. The other thing that hooked me to Rotary to the Rotary wheel was when I was 17 years old, I spent a year abroad as a Rotary Youth Exchange student in Alicante, Spain, an experience that changed my life. Upon return to Seattle, I attended Seattle University and majored in Spanish and international politics. And then I spent two years working for a Mexican American immigration attorney in downtown Seattle. Realizing that the legal profession was not for me, I decided to apply to graduate school on the East Coast. And in August of 1997, I left Seattle for Washington to start a two-year program at the George Washington University's Elliott School of International Affairs. <clears throat> After graduating with a master's in international economics, I landed a position at a boutique family-owned international project finance advisory consulting firm focused on the energy and infrastructure project development and financing. When I went home to Seattle for the holidays that year, I couldn't tell any of my friends and family what my job was as I didn't yet understand what is project finance. I stayed with the firm for 16 and a half years, leaving in April 2016 to start at Tetra Tech's Institute for Public Private Partnerships, where I worked with foreign government officials who came to our training center to learn about project finance and public private partnerships. I also had the opportunity to travel to Africa half a dozen times and completely fell in love with Kenya. <clears throat> I was furloughed during the pandemic last year and found a new job rather quickly. Timing seems to be everything. In July of 2020, I joined Access Intelligence, which is a media and event planning company headquartered in Rockville as the brand director for P3C Media. I'm leading the program development for seven public-private partnership and project delivery conferences focused on various sectors. I basically have one event every other month somewhere around the country. And so once we are back in person, it's very unlikely that you guys will see very much of me. Um, I am also responsible for strategic planning and client relationships for the group, <clears throat> as well as providing uh, P3 public-private partnership expertise. Going back to in-person events is in this ongoing pandemic, as we were talking about before the meeting, has been an interesting experience to say the least. And I really wish that COVID would just go away. I joined the Rotary Club of Washington, DC, as Sterling mentioned in June, 2005. Yuki Otada, who some of you may know, was my sponsor and was also a business colleague. It's a funny story. I actually had a meeting with him on a Wednesday and he was wearing his pin which I recognized. And I said, Yukio, you're a Rotarian. He said, yes, why? I said, I would love to go to a meeting. And so he invited me, though it did take me about six months to finally join, I, I did. Yukio is also the conduit of our sister capital city partnership with the Rotary Club of Tokyo, which celebrated its 100th anniversary last year, also in the middle of this pandemic. At the beginning of my Rotary membership, I had what a past president called balloon arm meaning I volunteered for everything. I got involved, I got to know the club, the membership, the history, the projects, and the many, many layers of what is Rotary. I have been actively involved in the past annual fundraiser for the club's international service projects, the community service grants committee, which I can't recommend more to new members if they really wanna to get to know what we do, and the meeting and review, which I actually wrote for two years when I first joined. And I've also chaired the club's Global Grant Scholarship Committee. I acted as the liaison for the Rotaract Club, which Marilyn has probably mentioned quite a bit. Um, my active years doing that, she was president of our Rotaract Club. And I've served on the Rotary Board of Directors and was secretary for two years from 2010 to 2012. During the 2014 to 2015 Rotary year, I had the honor of serving as the club's president the fourth woman to do so. Some of you may not know, Susan Neely, whose birthday was on Monday, was actually our first female president. For the district, I have um, played the role of area or assistant governor, which I know Mandy Warfield has joined us for this meeting. She's your, our current area governor. And I am currently the Global Grant Scholarship Committee Chair for the district. On a personal note, my husband and Chris and I, who some of you met at the holiday party or got to see after a, a long while, 
have been married for 18 years and together for 21. We live in Washington and just moved into a condo on the Walter Reed campus after downsizing from 20 years of living in a 100-year-old three-bedroom row house. We have a five-year-old English bulldog named Charlie, our third English bulldog, and by far the most spoiled of the three, and we are so happy to be in our new home. Some of you may know Chris and know that he was in a motorcycle accident in October of 2010. This accident obviously changed our lives, but I'm happy he is still alive. This Rotary family was a huge part of my support system when that happened, and I'm forever thankful for my membership and my involvement in this amazing organization.